Welcome to the YouTube video channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I'm going to go over a uh, mi uh, mixture model that I put together based on the global 25 coordinates. And the, I'm going to go, I'm going to explain the reason why I made this mixture modeling and the regional components that I used. And I'm also going to talk about the uh, individual populations, uh, averages, modern scale population averages that I uh, used for these components. And um, I had Earlier, I had made an earlier uh, mixture model um, that apparently it was an overfit. Um, I used sort of too many overlapping um, populations and some populations that were sort of not, uh, had other components that were not entirely in that region, for example, Northern Italy. Um, so what I did was I narrowed it down to one population that's representative of each of those regions that is the best uh, the best fit for each of those uh, those regions so um, and I'm going to I'm going to go over why I chose these uh, regions so the regions that I chose were um, and this uh, the regions are, are based on the um, Rhineland theory of Ashkenazi I'm, Ash, I'm Ashkenazi Jewish and this is based uh, I'm fully Ashkenazi and that's based on um, the uh, ancestry DNA test and uh, many other um, DNA tests that I've done. Um, so, and also it's my genealogy and, uh, you know, back for, for a long time, goes back for a long time, many generations. Um, I am Ashkenazi. So, 100%. So, um, the Rhineland theory of Ashkenazi Jewish migration is basically uh, migrating from Italy, or excuse me, from Israel, the land of the land of Israel, to Italy, then up the boot of Italy to Franco-German Rhineland Fat Faltz, Faltz, Rhineland Palatinate, the Rhineland region um, of modern-day Germany, and then later, and this was there, and there, that was during the Middle Ages, and then later eastward migrations to Central and Eastern Europe. And so the uh, regional components that um, I used uh, for this mixture model using the Vahoduo online tool and the um, David Wozlowski's data sheet uh, um, over at Eurogene's blog using the uh, modern scaled, again, the modern scaled, co scaled coordinates for um, averages for different populations. And so I used um, Le uh, Levantine, and the um, and then I'll, I'll go over the uh, populations I use for each of these regions. But I use Levantine, Northern Italy, Baltic, North Africa, and Amer Indian. And uh, the reason I uh, I also included uh, North Africa and Amer Indian because um, can, uh, myself and other Ashkenazi Jews, many Ashkenazi Jews, excuse me, many Ashkenazi Jews consistently get low levels of North African and Amer Indian, American Indian, Amer Indian, um, Native, you know, Native American, um, or other Asiatic um, admixture, you know, like uh, East Asian, Siberian, you know, Central Asian, um, I guess South American, North American, um, and um, those are basically those. Those are pretty consistent, um, and other uh, at, at least the, the North African is very consistent. The uh, Amer Indian. You know, Asiatic is uh, is consistent with uh, Eastern Ashkenazi, um, German Jews, um, at least what uh, based on the global five uh, global twenty five coordinates, uh, the average uh, gets uh, does gets a very very much uh, gets a trace amount of uh, Amer Indian, but um, it's a little bit higher, one to two percent, with Eastern Ashkenazi, uh, Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania. Uh, Belarus, and um, I also found that uh, 
just going over the different populations, and I'll go, the, go over with this in a little bit, uh, that um, there are uh, some other uh, groups that you might be surprised uh, also get low levels of uh, or trace amounts of sort of Asiatic, uh, Amer Indian, Siberian, East Asian, et cetera, uh, you know, uh, Turkic, Central Asian. And um, I'll show you that, uh, those populations, uh, because they include uh, Palestinians, Iranian Jews, and Georgian Jews. And um, so, yeah, so those are the, the regional components here. And so you could just see my, uh, my results here. Um, it's a pretty good fit. You know, you want your fit to be, you know, kind of any in the 1% to up to 3% range. Uh, if it's above, you know, 3% or above, that's not a good fit. That's, that's too much distance. And um, if you're getting below 1%, that's prob that could be an overfit. Um, so that could, that could give you skewed results as well. So that's a good range there, you know, 1.7974%. And um, yeah, 44.8% Levantine, 39.2% Northern Italy, 11.2% Baltic, 3.4% North Africa, and 1.4% Amer Indian. And um, so that's my, those are my results. And um, so here's the Vahuduo calculator. And just going to go you, show you real quick. Uh, so yeah, the uh, modern population that I ended up using for Northern Italy is uh, L Italian Lombardi. And I used Lebanese Christian for Levantine. Bar Berber Mar er ERR for North Africa. Amer Indian North for American Indian, for Amer Indian, and Lithuanian PZ for Baltic. Um, so if those, I, I believe that those populations are probably the most reflective of those regions. And so that's why I use them. And then, so if you go to um, the calculators here, I ran some of the different modern, you know, scaled average population coordinates. And as you can see, the results here, you know, Here's Ashkenazi Ukraine. Um, and you can see, uh, you know, the North African American Indian there. And you can see, obviously, Levantine, the top 48.4 Levantine, 38 Northern Italy, 8.6 Baltic, 3.8 North Africa, 1.2 American Indian. Um, Ashkenazi Russia, 49.6 Levantine, 36.8 Northern Italy, 8.8 .8 Baltic, 3.0 North Africa, 1.8 American Indian. Ashkenazi Poland, 51 Levantine, 37.2 Northern Italy, 7.4 Baltic, 3.4 North Africa, 1.0 Amer Indian. Ashkenazi Lithuania, uh, 54.0 Levantine, 32.2 Northern Italy, 9.6 Baltic, 2.6 North Africa, 1.6 Amer Indian. Ashkenazi Germany, 54.2 Levantine, 38.6 six northern italy 4.4 north africa 2.6 baltic and it, there you can see it's 0 0.2 amer indian so just very trace amounts and you know like i said the eastern ashkenazim get a little bit more amer indian which make uh you could conclude that this these trace uh sorry asiatic results were picked up uh during the easter eastward migrations to eastern europe so uh, I, you know, that, that would be, that could be, that could be, could be, not necessarily, but it could be. And it, yeah, Ashkenazi Belarusia, 51.2 Levantine, 36.8 Northern Italy, 8.4 Baltic, 2.2 North Africa, 1.4 Amer Indian. And here's Iranian Jew. And here's what I was talking. The fit's not that good. Um, Cause again, the, this calculator is not, is made for Ashkenazi based on our, uh, the theory of our historical migrations and the potential admixture that we picked up. But if you see, see Iranian Jew, uh, look, they get 2.0 2 Amer Indian, which is kind of interesting. And uh, again, that's not, that doesn't necessarily mean they have Amer Indian ad admixture. It could mean that, you know, they have some kind of ancient sort of Eurasian type of uh, admixture um, components that are similar to Amer Indian. And again, Georgian Jew, uh, 2.2 Amer Indian, but again, not a great fit. Um, 
So, and I wanted to go through some of the more similar populations uh, to Ashkenazi Jews, and Sicilians are very close. So, Sicilian West, uh, it's a good fit. Um, but you know, Sicilians are, um, and you'll see Southern Italians and Sicilians, Maltese, um, are more um, Northern Italian. Uh, they get more Northern Italian than Ashkenazi Jews, who so get more Levantine. So Sicilian West gets 55.6 Northern Italy, 34.6 Levantine, 55.4 North Africa, 4.4 Baltic. Um, also, you know, the Ashkenazi get, tend to get a little more Baltic. Um, Sicilian East, 56.0 Northern Italy, 41.4 Levantine, 2.0 North Africa, 0.6 Baltic. Um, and again, I, I mentioned the Palestinian, but this Palestinian Beit Sahor, well, they're, you know, let's Palestinian Christians. So they're almost identical to Lebanese Christians who are very, Le almost completely Levantine, as you can see. But the uh, Palestinian, this is more like mixed Palestinian Muslims, um, a little, a bit more mixed population, 80.8 .8 Levantine, 18.0 North Africa. And then I, there's 1.2 Amer Indian in a Palestinian Muslim. So I don't really know where that comes from. Just like I'm not really sure where it comes from in Ashkenazi, and also myself, but they do get that. Um, so that's just a little example. So, yeah, basically, um, yeah, that's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a mixture model I put together, I created. Um, anybody can do it. Um, you just need to get your global five, 25 coordinates, and I've explained how to do that in uh, previous videos. And I really recommend it. And just play around with it. Play around with different regions, different populations, and see what you get for your best fit. You know, what? Uh, again, you don't want to underfit or overfit. Um, but, you know, you, you can start to narrow it down and start to get, refine it and start to get to, you know, some of what possibly is your ancestry. So thank you for watching.